explosion. Three, two, one. Kaboom! Whoa! Hello, you beautiful, beautiful people. Today, we are back in Besieged. This is an amazing, beautiful game that I played about six months ago, and it was fantastic. Uh, there was It's an early access game, so it was early days when I first checked it out, but now the modern community has just absolutely been raping this game and just making some incredible creations. So every Monday from here on out, we're going to be making a little mini-series where we're going to be checking out the modded creations from the community. Some amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, it's mind-blowing. And if you haven't seen Besiege, it's a very, very cool game. Um, yeah, if you're into the whole modding, cool, novelty stuff, uh, this is definitely up your street. So first of all, we've got a rocket. That's right, it's going to go into outer space with the very, very cool technology, which is steam propulsion. So how this works is... Uh, first of all, this tower detaches itself with a propeller system. Very, very cool. And then it throws water down at the ground, which you'd say to yourself, well, water, Ollie, that's not going to put it up in the air. You're very right, sir. But with a combination of changing the water to flames and then throwing the water at the flames, you then create steam, which then gives you the propulsion to go up in space. And I tell you right now, it is quite majestic. So if you enjoy this video, and you enjoy the series, you think it's cool, be sure to help out the miniature series here every Monday by giving the video a cheeky little like, and yes, we shall continue. By the way, if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do that now before we launch. Very important. So I'm going to press play here, and we are going to launch this majestic beast. It is absolutely fantastic. Now, there is one problem with mods in this game, and that is they absolutely cripple your frame rate. So I've had to actually reduce the time to 11% of real time. Um, but it does give us a chance to watch the launch in a very, very nice, um, you know, atmospheric view, if you like. Okay, so three, two, one. Oh, let's zoom out a bit. Ready? I'm such a troll. Three, two, one. Here we go. Woo! -hoo -hoo! So there we go. You can see it's attaching. Oh, the flames and the water and the steam and... Oh, that's so cool. Oh my god, that is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now, you may not n have noticed there is in fact a bomb inside of this creation. <laughs> uh, which will detonate to some fantastic effects. Look at that. How cool is that? And uh, yeah, we're going to do that by pressing Y in 3, 2, 1, and Y. Boom! <laughs> oh, incredible. So there we go. That is the rocket. Very, very cool. And that is going to be pretty much the format for these videos. Next up, I'm going to be showing you a train. Choo-choo! Look at this. Oh, my God. This is so cute. It's like a little toy train set. It's amazing. So cool. I love the aesthetic of this game. It's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. So, let's show this train. Now, this invention is actually very, very clever for one reason. And that is... You would look at this immediately and go, well, obviously it's going to fall off the track uh, because the wheels are just going to fall off the bits of wood and that's clearly never going to work, is it? Well, sir, you'd be wrong because there is wheels going in between the tracks, which is just genius, so clever, and it looks amazing. So we're going to be giving it a go here in three, two, one. Now we've had to, again, reduce the time to like 8% to maintain the frame rate, but oh, it's just so cool. I love it. Absolutely love it. So here we go. You can see the little train is going to go up the hill and we're going to see if we can actually make it down the hill, uh, whether or not it's going to work. So yeah, just look at this. It's so amazing. Oh, it's the cutest. So cool. I used to have like a wooden train set when I was younger. It was like the best thing. Just like slotting all the tracks into place and then rolling the train round. I mean, I'm talking like when I was four years old, not when I was like, <laughs> not like two years ago. Oh my God. Made up the ramp, which is like the important thing. Like I was a little bit worried that it wasn't going to make it up the ramp and it was just going to look cool. But we've managed to get up the ramp with no problem. All right, so here we go. Picking up some speed. <laughs> you can't tell because we're only going at 8%. But we are picking up speed. Let's see if we can go around the corner. Oh, this is so amazing. Oh, man. So cool. 
Can we go round? Are we going to crash off the track? I don't think we are, actually. I think we're going to be absolutely fine. Which, in that case, is, like, the best thing ever. Ab Look at that! Absolutely fine! Oh, man. So, there we go, guys. That is the train. Very, very cool thing. I love the fact it's, like, a figure eight toy set. Absolutely amazing. Uh, let's check out a little bit different of a transportation. Uh, let's check out, I don't know, a warship. Let's go check that out. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So here we have a warship. Now, apparently, it's very, very accurate to the one it's modeled after, which is very impressive. I don't know anything about warships, so I couldn't really tell you um, either way. However, what I can tell you is this thing looks absolutely incredible. Now, Ollie, why is a boat not in the water? Good question. Um, because this is besieged and there is no water. However, with the power of mods, we can actually spawn one in. So, I'm actually going to throw in some water here. And now, we can submerge this beast. Um, just look at how majestic it is. It's literally the coolest thing. So, so cool. Right, so, you might be wondering, um, does it float? That's a good question. And we're about to find out. Let's dunk it in and we shall see. Oh, I'm nervous. Is it going to sink? Oh my god, it looks like it's sinking. Oh no, no, no. Oh, that's so amazing. Oh my god. Now you may have noticed, for those of you with keen eyes, noticed there are little cannons here to fire at little people and destroy things. Because this is a warship, of course. Um, also, there is little propellers, which if I hold forward, we're going to activate some of them. And we can actually, um, you know, boat forward. You know, move forward, and, you know, now we're a warship heading to war. It's very, very cool. So, let's try firing one of these weapons by pressing 1. Boom! Oh, that's so cool. Uh, at the back, we need our own defensive in case someone's chasing us. So, 3. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, that actually hurt us. And 4, finally. Boom! So, so majestic. So there we go, guys. That is um, the warship. It is really, really cool. Absolutely amazing. I think, I believe, this is the most subscribed mod on the Steam Workshop. Um, it's very, very cool. Let's load up one final mode of transportation, which, if you haven't noticed, is the theme for today. All right, so before we show you the bomb, which is going to be our grand finale of the day, I wanted to show you this. Now, this isn't very useful, I've got to be honest. I mean, most of which I'm showing today isn't really useful. However, this is beautiful and gorgeous, and it just looks really, really cool. It's, of course, a war blimp. You can see we've got a couple of bombs here. We've got a couple of cannons, and it is very cool. So I hit O to move forward, and I can even use the one, no, the, uh, oh. The U and I keys to move the propellers in certain directions so I can move. Unfortunately, because I'm running this sim simulation at 4%, you can't really see it. I can even move forward and backwards um, to tilt this machine. It is pretty complicated. However, it is very, very cool. Now, let's show the bombs as they are very, very cool. Right, so if I press H here, you can see I extend this here. And then I can press C to fire the cannons at the front there, which is very, very cool. There we go. We get a good shot on whoever's below us. Or if I want to let go of the bombs, I then press V. But, um, of course... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, I forgot about... No! <laughs> oh, God, no. Holy shit. Oh, crap. That doesn't look good. I was going to say, if you press V, you can let go of the bombs. But I forgot that when I let, wanted to press V, I let go of H. And then the thing's retracted. And then I'm, I'm fucked up. I did a boo-boo. Oh, shit. <laughs> but there we go. <laughs> it's glowing red. Oh, my God. Oh, man. But there we go, guys. That is... The blimp, uh, but to finish off today, let's go and show you the giant bomb. Oh my god, this is going to be amazing. So, 
For those of you who don't know, this is called the bomb. And, well, these are all bombs and these are all spikes. So I'm, I'm assuming that it creates a little bit of carnage. Uh, one thing I do want to do, actually, is actually move it uh, over towards the village. All right. Okay. Apparently, 2% is what you need. It's real time, which is incredibly slow. But apparently, it's the most beautiful thing you'll ever see in your life. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, here is... The bomb. Right, so we're going to load in. Okay, all I need to do apparently is press J. Three, two, one. Here we go. What the hell? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, prepare your butts for that one. That is freaking ridiculous. Oh my god, that was beautiful. Can we do it at like 1%? I really just want to see the explosion. Right, let's do it again. You ready? You ready for this? This is three. Two. Oh no, we need to press play. Okay. Getting ahead of myself here. Three, two, one. <laughs> I'm too excited. All right, here we go. Kaboom! Whoa! Holy crap! Holy! Wow! Shit, the bed. Let's. I want to put it next to the castle. And okay, you ready? This is the last one, guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this mod series, be sure to drop a like below. And yeah, I'll see you guys. After the explosion, three, two, one, kaboom! Whoa! <laughs> oh, I didn't even touch the castle. Oh no! Yep. Oh my god, that is insane. We might have to do it right next to the castle just to explode the castle. Whoa! <laughs> carnage! Absolute carnage. Oh man. And the castle falls. That is so amazing! Holy crap! Wow!